Mitt Romney, I feel like we've done this segment several times over the last many, many months, uh, again being questioned about his ability to connect with voters. I drive a Mustang and a, uh, and a Chevy pickup truck. Ann drives a, a couple of Cadillacs, actually. I get speaker's fees from time to time, but not very much. <laughs> so how much is not very much for Mitt Romney? $374,000. That's how much he made last year giving eight speeches. Diane? Nearly $350,000, John. $374,000. Wow. When Mitt Romney goes off the teleprompter, starts speaking off the cuff, he has a uh, record of promptly uh, stepping in it. Just yesterday, he was asked if he follows NASCAR. He told the Associated Press, quote, Not as closely as some of the most ardent fans, but I have some great friends that are uh, NASCAR uh, uh, team owners. Do you think that your specific comments about your own wealth, whether it was the Cadillac line or the NASCAR team owners line on Sunday, do you realize how those are hurting your campaign? Yes. Next question. <laughs> at what point are these not gaffes? At, at what point are, are they no longer mistakes and missteps? And at, at what point do they become a part of who he is, a general, genuine detachment from, from real Americans. Corporations are people, my friend. Well, the banks are scared to death, of course, and so they're feeling the same thing that, that uh, you're feeling. I think that connecting is very important. Obviously, Mitt Romney has stumbled. I'm not concerned about the very poor. <laughs> 10,000 bucks? $10,000 bet? Romney has to avoid those kind of gaffes. I know what it's like to, to worry whether you're going to get fired. There were a couple of times I wondered whether I was going to get a pink slip. You should also tell my story. I'm also unemployed. <laughs> I like being able to fire people who provide services to me. It appears Romney has a serious problem when he goes off script. He sounds out of touch, elite. And we said, look, you can't have any illegals working on our property. That's, I'm running for office for Pete's sake. 